Good morning. This is Sajan with you from Doc Training Web Series. I got a very interesting topic to discuss for today. It's all about leveraging Power BI for your SharePoint reporting. Now, mostly, you know, our clients, they ask different ways to view and report uh, data within SharePoint. Now it's much possible, but with the modern list experience that has improved out of the box list views, it's, it's going to be a bit difficult to create the data visualizations, which, you know, the business users, they really need, you know, it's going to be a bit difficult. So what's the best option for this? I mean, what's, what's the solution? And my, my colleague, uh, Rahul Ravindran, who's the CTO and the VTSP for Microsoft Corporation, he had done a webinar uh, recently, you know, showcasing about the SharePoint or the future of SharePoint and also mentioned about the Power BI and the Power Apps, you know, the advantages of using it. So Power BI is definitely going to be the game changer and its integration with SharePoint is going to be the best way to produce reports and data visualizations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just walk through the basics. Now, myself, uh, I'm the digital marketing head for Global Infinite and Doc. 365 incorporated so I had a uh, drill down or you know put a report on my marketing leads now I'm gonna show you a sample so what I did is actually created an Excel where I have the lead description and then I also have the list of products so uh, we have a dedicated product called Doc and Report for credit unions nonprofits we have SharePoint support and we also do custom development under Global Infinite Incorporated. We have the capture date, the closure, and most important, the lead generated. So which channel I really, I mean, uh, that's from where I received the lead and what is the sales data? So what is the sale amount? I mean, these are the leads which are actually closed, right? Now this is a sample data for informational purposes. I don't have a, so I have just done a bit of tweaking to maintain the confidentiality of the organization. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I have a list in my SharePoint. Now this is my SharePoint environment of basically dark. Um, so this is my list or my marketing leads uh, list. You know, I have the lead description or the title, I have the product, uh, what product is it? So these are the text fields and these are the drop downs. I have the dates that I can be captured and what's the lead details and the numbers, right? And which is the channel again, that's the drop down. And then I have the, basically the sale amount. Now what I'm going to do is um, what, what I normally did is, is always good to have a list created and then enter them manually. Or what I did is I, I really went ahead and added an app where you can export your spreadsheets directly into SharePoint intranet, which is very easy. I just have to go and click on add an app. And you need to find an app. So search for spreadsheets. And just click on import spreadsheet. Now I'm not going to go through this because it's going to take a while. So let me, uh, you know, focus on the Power BI reporting tool. So you just have to go click here, import spreadsheet, and then give a name for your list and then go ahead and upload them. So that's it. And then you yeah, just have to upload it. And then it asks you to define the range of the Excel or the, your spreadsheet. You just have to click on import and that's it. Voila, you have it. You have your list populated in your SharePoint. So that's how you import a basically a list. So now I have this list imported. Now, what do I do next? So this is the URL that I have received or basically I have actually, uh, you know, gotten when I've created uh, this marketing lead report. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch the URL of my site. And then the next thing what I need to do is go to my Power BI. You can download uh, the desktop version. That's very important. So basically you have to go to your Power BI desktop version. And what you need to do is click on get data. 
and then search for SharePoint online list. So click here, you have to connect and define the URL. And then you click OK. You create a new connection and then you need to select which list that you need to populate the data. So that's simple. So that's the best thing, right? You can choose the list which you want to query. And then the nice thing about Power BI is the amount of customization you can do. And um, you know, it has got really attractive reports that you have. And let's go ahead and see some of them. So right now I have created some of the reports. I've got like two of them, probably for the demonstration purposes, but I'm gonna you know, probably show you how it's been done. Now I have imported my list or I have imported my SharePoint online uh, list. So the data has been populated over here. Right, so this marketing lead report, that's the file name. So I have, I mean, that's the list name. So I've imported it over here. And now what I can do is I can go select what kind of visualizations I need to have. So there are pie charts, there, there are a lot of them to choose. If you wanna go ahead and import, you can do that. Um, there are uh, visual, uh, reports that are available online. You can search for it in Microsoft Power BI, the powerbi.com. Now, what I'm gonna do is now, for the sake of this video now, what I've done is I have already connected uh, the data source into my Power BI. That's what we're seeing right now. And uh, I've already chosen the columns which I want to use. So basically now, these are the fields that I've, so these are the fields that I can choose from based on my uh, list, SharePoint list, I can go and define. So now this is a pie chart I have listed over here as a product. Basically, what are my different products? Which again, that the lead generation mechanism, uh, what is it, right? And then I plug in the values, the number of leads generated, so that has to go as a value. And then I have my report right so it's a very simple report it's very simple it's fairly simple basically and it's it's really powerful now what happens here is now this is gonna get, make it a much more bigger i hope you can see it right now yes great so this is the lead number of leads versus the products and the channels now this as SharePoint support, this is the product and I have generated 167 leads, right? So uh, yeah, by the way, the data, what I have has consists of 1,002 uh, leads that have generated for the past three months. And I have others as well. So this is the for the SharePoint support. This is for doc internal portal for credit unions. I have 167 leads. And this is the Doc and Run portal generic, 167 leads again. And then I have for the nonprofits again, 167. And for the GI custom app, it's 335. What I can do is I can go ahead and drill down the next level in the hierarchy. Now what happens here is I can drill down based on the activities or the lead generation mechanism. Now we have telecalling here and the number of leads generated, that's 75 for telecalling. And for SharePoint support, the telecalling, the number of leads generated through telecalling is 31. Through direct traffic websites, 31 again. So that's how I've been, you know, and it's for generic. And, you know, that's how I can, you know, again, drill down and find out the number of leads with the lead uh, um, in proportion to the products. And if you drill down based on the lead channels. So that's about that. And uh, moving on, I just want to bring out another report basically with the sales generator proportion to the leads, right? Now, as you can see, the result is elegant and aesthetically pleasing report. That's what you can see here. And this report can be published to a SharePoint site in one or two ways, either as an iframe in a script editor web pod, or, you know, you can do as a Power BI app web pod. I mean, that's what we've done for our sales and marketing portal that we have in doc uh, internal portal. You can watch those videos from 
uh, our channel in uh, YouTube or as well as you can go to our website there's a videos channel there you have to go to my doc365.com slash home slash videos you can access from the home page basically so so keeping in mind you know you can leverage power bi for reporting here and we have the ability to schedule data fresh defined row level permissions and many other compelling capabilities and also i just want to highlight one more thing is that you need to um let's say you have created the list as how i showed you, you know you can import it you can import the data now please know that the user permissions is minimal for such lists so you have to probably have to go to your list settings and give full access to the users for the site and the users basically so unless you don't do that you won't be able to access it through your power bi desktop version you have to log in as one of the users of that sharepoint site and then you'll be able to get this data populated in power bi okay now let's go in probably go to another report where I'll be talking about the leads versus the sales amount so the sales data basically so this time it's on the sales data and let's go ahead and click on and by the way this you'll be able to create new new pages you can keep on adding them it's as good as that now as you see the power bi provides rich reporting and data visualizations where you know can enhance the ability to see data in different different ways now, as I showed you, you know, there are different ways to represent the data. You can go ahead and click them and, you know, that's it. And you will be able to see your data as simple as that. So this is the basic uh, that I really wanted to discuss about. Now you can see here. So this is the total revenue that's been acquired by Doc for credit union um, offering. So I have two direct traffic. I have 31 leads. I have 32 leads for my email marketing for paid search i have 31 I have for social media leads i've got 42 and for telecalling i have 31. so that's the total number of leads that have been acquired here if you can see here and i can also go ahead and see per category all right so that's that's all about that and uh, that's really that's something that I really want to discuss about. Okay, here you go. That's more. So number of leads generated for each uh, lead generation mechanism and the type of product, right? So I can do that as well. So that's it. And also, um, that's uh, that's something that I really want to discuss about. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, by the way, you'll be able to export this data. Um, you can also publish it, right? So you can use this file. You can share it with your colleagues or you can share it within your organization so they can go ahead and import this uh, Power BI file so that they can view the st statistics or the visualizations. So that's it for now. And thank you so much for watching. Now, I know this is a very basic video and I'm pretty sure, you know, with a lot of trial and errors, you can be a Power BI professional in no time. And, um, you know, probably if I'm going to come up with more and more videos soon, and if I come across any systematic uh, workflow or a kind of uh, interesting report, I'm going to publish it in my future video. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.